so we are oh my goodness this is a bumpy run we are on our way home from the photo shoot from the far off i don't know about you but i'm tired i'm hungry i want to watch a good movie with you I watched the trailer from the Terrifier the other day, the behind the scenes. It's scary. You never told me you watched the trailer the Terrifier. It popped up on TikTok. Oh, okay. TikTok. It was it was behind the scenes how they sit up with the woman's head, she's beheaded. How he cut her up on the bed. He goes trick-or-treating and then she opens the door and she looks at him but he doesn't want to leave so she keeps wanting to close the door and then he opens the door and she says okay fine if i give you sweets will you leave and then he goes like that he nods so she goes and she gets the the candy and she throws it in his bag but when he opens the bag it's full of knives and like weapons full of blood <clears throat> and then they show the behind the scenes so obviously he goes into the house and he cuts her off is this the same one where he goes up to the room to kill the children? No, I don't know. I just saw the woman. Yeah, and they were holding the <laughs> the mannequin head, which was her head. That's how I know he kills her. Oh. Yes. Um, but there's three of them. Three terrifying ones. I don't know which one. I'll show you which one I was talking about. I love the terrifying Art. Art the clown. Art. Yes. Art. My name for him now uh, is Artie. Artie Why? the Clown. Why? You like him because he kills immodest women. Immodest. <laughs> Rule number one. All men that were good become bad due to immodest women who ruin their lives. And Are I you one of them? The other way around. Oh, I'm immodest. The other way around now as well. All women. Becoming bad women due to immodest men. Not yeah. really. <laughs> true. It's true. It is really true. Show me one woman or man that has not been through trauma that behaves diff not differently. No, it's true. That is egotistic. That has turned violent. That's true. In the sense of the way they treat themselves. That's why they all want to do bodybuilding when they have the horse storage or the separation. That's kind of true. When you're single, you look like this fit freak from outer space. But when you get married, you look like a Oompa Loompa. You say a Oompa Loompa? No, I'm not saying you look like But I do. Who's fit? Talking about my friends and stuff. If I, you know, your friends. They're women. Oh. Women, lovely women. <laughs> Men. There, that's the place I was talking about. Up there, up there. Yes, of the whole. Yes. I'm driving my like gun. something else but this is interesting last night when we were watching the film or the film the video with the parasite so the parasite would actually if the host is dead it will actually send signals to the brain for it to move to water so it can exit the body and no. enter another host not when it's dead the, the host is still alive but it oh. mind boozles the host to go to its home and then if the cricket falls into the water it will die because it can drown, but if it can get out, it will live. But well, why does it take it to water? Yeah, parasite lives in water. A tapeworm lives in water. That's quite interesting. Yeah. Imagine that was my case last night. Yeah. You'd find me in the shower. <laughs> or in the, in the ocean. Worms. Tapeworms, parasites, depression, stress, can steal all your nutrition, give you pimples. It's actually, if you think of it, all bad things in life is to do with parasites. Some people stress, are stress, depression, 
tiredness, pimples, aging, always sick because you have low immune system because they eat all your nutrition. Yeah. So actually, if you can get rid of parasites in your body, deworm yourself out every three months or six months, or go into ivermectin, you will actually be very healthy and you'll never be stressed. Obviously, you'll have normal stress. So, you still, you still have to be understanding. Yeah. By the way, guys, I am using ivermectin. Uh, my mother-in-law sells it and kind of knows everything about it and it's very good. Very good. You go to the toilet like... <laughs> no, not you. Oh, generalizing. Generalizing. <laughs> General. because he's not finger licking good. But in Texas, Texas takes Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah, that's good. You lick that well right off that fingernail and you say, hey buddy. What the hell, man? Cowboy Bob. I know Cowboy Bob from personal opinion. That bastard doesn't even understand McDonald's. He only likes KFC. Well, when it comes to pizza, he never shares. Never shares. I always have to beg him for a slice of pizza. Uh, when I have my KFC in front of him, I always offer him KFC. Kentucky. General Kentucky still remembers me from back in the day. Oh my word, what are these three guys doing? I'm out of character. I thought he was holding a gun. He was pointing his cell phone. Are you laughing? Are you laughing? Oh no 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 no! Don't you like the accent? You don't like my American Kentucky accent. Huh? The American accent's fine, but the Alabama, Kentucky, the Texas, whatever. What's wrong with the Texas accent? I don't know about you guys, but everyone has their preference on accents. Apparently, you don't like me because I can make a Texas accent? That's not true. <laughs> you! Um, oh gosh. Um, they say the, the sexiest accent is Afrikaans. So, you are with Afrikaans. I don't know. 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 I don't know.